Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about my 30 day update on my Kendra's Boutique hair and frontals. Now, um, before we get started, I just want to say that this is my personal opinion about the hair that I purchased with my own money. And I'm not bashing her in any type of way or anything like that. I also want to say that I did not do anything to the hair, um, as in I didn't bleach it, I didn't dye it, I didn't bleach or dye the frontal, I didn't even bleach the knots, but I did seal, uh, seal the webs of the bundle, but that's what I do with all my hair, no matter where I get it from. All right, so now that that's out the way, let's talk about the real tea about this hair, right? So, I just got my hair done a week ago, frontal reinstalled, you know, um, so like I said, I opted to get curls this time because I wanted to see how versatile the hair really was. So I learned off bat one, the hair does hold a curl, and two, it will get its natural curl uh, pattern back when you wash it, and the hair does get straight. Um, now the hair does shed, even though I seal my webs, I do get minimum shedding on the bundles itself i do believe that a majority of the shedding comes from the frontal now i don't know if that's normal with frontals because um this is the first frontal installment that i have had so but i just want to show y'all like this is how like this is how much hair i got from uh just brushing it you know get for this style for this style so that is it so if you do have this hair um you you are gonna need a powder brush, and this is the brush that they uh, provided for me with Black Friday. So, like I said in the last video, the hair um, is dry, especially the ends. This is the ends right now, but like I did say, I just did do my hair before I started recording the video, and I did. Um, you have to add some type of hair sheen to the hair, so the hair is just gonna be dull, brittle, and it's not gonna be okay. Um, now. I do feel like that there is a major hair quality difference from the frontal and the bundle. I do believe that the frontal is a lower quality hair than the bundles. You can just kind of like feel it. Um, you can just like feel it. There's some type of quality difference in the hair. Um, and the hair you will, besides for the shedding, you will get kind of like tangles in the hair. A couple of times I have ran my fingers through and <laughs> I have ran my fingers through and have had like little knot balls come out of my hair, particularly uh, from the nape of my head. And I remember one day, y'all, my friend um, ran her hands through my hair like, oh, TJ, your hair looks so nice. You know, she go ahead and try and run her fingers through, but she got caught right here, like no joke. And that's not okay. I'm like, ugh, like no, that is not a good look. That is most definitely not a good look. So they gave us some paddle brushes on Black Friday for a reason. Um, now speaking about Black Friday, about about Black Friday, um, I did buy this hair on Black Friday, so I do not know if that's the reason why. Um, the quality of the hair is how it is because I do know some um hair companies do get like a different vendor during major sales, so they won't lose out on too much profit. Um, now, I'm not saying that's what she did, but I do feel like this hair is some type of synthetic blend. A very high quality synthetic blend because, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty, it's not a bad hair, but it's not the best hair in the market. And I mean, if you're selling hair at this stage in the game, anybody, and you don't have hair that sh can hold a curl by now or straighten, and you just really don't care about what, about your business, period. But, nah. This hair is definitely not the best hair, but it's okay. Um, now, disclaimer, this frontal, <coughs> excuse me, this frontal is high, high quality, it's not low maintenance, it's not a quick fix hairstyle, and you have to keep up with it. You, I mean, you have to keep up with your appointments. The day you get your hair done is the same day you need to be booking your appointments to come back and get it retouched up or whatever you have to do because if not, you will be walking around looking crazy. Um, now, the hair bundle itself is something that's not get up and go either. You have to do something to it. You have to brush it out every day. You have to put some type of oil in it. You have to straighten it. You have to curl it. You have to do something to it or else it's just going to look crazy. And um, which is new new for me 
because my last hair purchase was very get up and go like i like to call it i sometimes i just have sometimes i just have to take off my scarf and i used to just be like okay we ready you know what i'm saying so you have to really work with this hair and if you have the time to do that then that's for you or you have the patience then more power to you but mm -mm. sometimes i don't like messing with my hair um i would recommend this hair definitely if you are somebody who is new to getting hair or if you're somebody who um likes to make wigs or is learning how to make wigs and want to get an okay grade of hair and i would suggest you get this um I really feel like this hair is that is not what they what they hype it up to be, and I feel, really feel like it looks better on camera. It's kind of like catfish hair. It looks good, um, but when you it looks good on camera, it looks good like visually. It looks good, but when you get to touching it and you got to really work with it, you will slowly learn that it's not the best hair in the game. Um, like I said before, this is just my personal opinion with this hair, and you know, it's going to do for now. I'm going to make sure I get my money's worth from it. All right. Thank you. See you guys later.